Yo, welcome. This is Funky Ninja. I'm sitting here with a legend in the dance scene. My name is Tony Gogo. Uh, Anthony. My real name is Anthony Foster. Anthony Lewis Foster. First of all, how did you, how did you start dancing? And uh, why and how and when? <laughs> uh, okay, well, it, when I first uh, I started, uh, I guess, uh, being interested in dance. I was first, I was living in Houston, Texas. And uh, I was in uh, the orchestra, junior high school. We were the number one orchestra in Texas. And, and the well, United States. And uh, orchestra, concert, band, and marching band. We were the three, we were the best. And the three divisions. And at that time, uh, Soul Train had started, I guess, the show Soul Train. And so uh, I was watching this uh, Soul Train uh, show, and uh, I got a glimpse of Don Campbell and Demita Joe Freeman dancing, and that's what that's what attracted me. And uh, never forget that moment. Okay, here we go again with the Temptations and a close up on Don and Demita. that I admired or 
who I wanted to be around or whatever, read upon and interested in. And artist, you know, every artist <laughs> I probably like in my life, you know, is being rolled through. So it was a really rewarding experience for me, just being a part of helping that show to survive and yeah. bringing dancers. I was helping to bring dancers on, you know, to keep it going. So it, that was a beautiful time for me, man. I was dancing with everybody I wanted to. Oh, nice. Yes. And we were able to capture that at that time. Thinking that, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. So that was a real rewarding experience. That so true. To this day, I still know people who were involved with that. So it's it's became fruitful, and uh, to to actually, I think, uh, for the younger generations to know that these soul steps are there. Hey, come on, just turn on soul train. You know, basically every soul step there is. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful show. Yes, yeah, big for uh, important for inspiration. Yeah, and, you yeah. know, and, and and real basic culture, you know, people who actually were raised on the, you know, practically raised on the street or are that has grown or accomplished something is on the show. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a big beautiful thing, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is the most memorable moment in your dance career? Uh, uh, to me, uh, it's uh, Ella Fitzgerald. She, this lady was like a very famous jazz singer. She uh, created the style in jazz called scatting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella created this. <laughs> show with her in Detroit and uh, that was the most memorable uh, point I think in my life. Why? Why? Because when I was in elementary school, the school made me write a book report on somebody that I would like to be like or whatever <laughs> and all the guys were picking guy books, you know, somebody, Martin, Malcolm X or, you know, somebody and I picked a letter. Oh, yeah. and so I was like, oh man, why you pick a what? What? A lady? You know, you like a lady? You know, it's like, you know, yeah. how young, you know, how young brothers are. <laughs> so I went through this, you know. But the point is, after I wrote that book report about Ella, I was actually working with her almost 16 to 17 years after. Nice. So, you know, yeah. was, to me, that was a blessing. It's like, wow, you know. It's like, you know, come on, you know. Yeah. So that, to me, is one of my, that's the most memorable. It's like, that was like a present from God or something to me. And I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> you know, yes, yeah. And to be a part of the lockers and be able to do it, it's like, well, yeah, you know. Nice. So after some time, you moved to Japan. Yeah, in 1980, I moved to Japan. In oh, sorry, 1980, I first went to Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, about 1982, I moved to Japan. About that, yeah, time. And, and, and why did you choose to, to move there? Well, at the first thing, I, I had received like a, a check stuff from, it's called 12 TV channel in, in, in Tokyo. It's called, with the Japanese, they say Juni channel. So they gave me this, sent me this check, residual for a television show I did in LA. Mm. So in Japan, Taiwan bought the rights to play it or whatever, I don't know, but I received a residual from uh, Japan. So I went, the first time in my life I got a check from Japan? What the hell is going on here? You know, I didn't do nothing in Japan, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but I found out that they had, I had did a show called The Dating Game in uh, LA. A show where, you know, uh, three guys are, are put in a seat and a girl is put over here with a wall. She can't see the three guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she, yeah, yeah, she questions the guys yeah. and whoever has the best answers or whatever. It was gets you. The date. We, 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 I 
did this show. Oh no, I did this show. <laughs> and so my show, Japan, bought the rights. I don't want to buy it on my show. They bought the rights, and so I got a check. And then my friend, uh, his name is Cleveland Moses Jr. Cleveland, uh, had worked in a city in Japan for six months, and that contract finished. So he wanted to go back. He wanted another contract. You know, so mm -hmm. he asked me, to, could I come with him to Japan for six months? I said, okay. I was the lockers had slowed down a little. So I said, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. And I, that's when I went. Mm -hmm. that, that's how I made that, I guess you could say, change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Do you like how the dance community is right now? Because uh, there's a, it's really different than from the 70s, right? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, I, I'm in a position to say that uh, me, I appreciate it. It's a, a lot going on out there now. You know, a lot of people have came back around. It's all kind of stuff going on out there. But to me, as far as the the, the point of dance growing and becoming, uh, I guess more more actual. You know, people can can use it to express themselves and communicate. It's grown. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful things like a. So, so many flowers bloomed, you know, to me. Yeah. It's like a beautiful field of flowers, you know. Yeah. So, but some feel that, that some of the flowers weren't growing properly. <laughs> you know, the, you know, yeah, you know the different yeah. farmers in the world, you know, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. cool, you know. But uh, I, overall, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I just feel that you guys have a chance if you really, uh, I think, it's simple, come together with what you're doing right now. I mean, really, you guys would understand what you would have. It's a beautiful thing, man. And it's right there at your fingertips. I can see this. And it's just, that's what I, I think why I keep uh, giving you guys energy is because I, I see this, what you can do. If you guys come together, really, and, and use it more constructively. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm serious. I've seen it grow to this point now, you know, through stages of, you know. And now I think, now is the time for you guys, I think. The kids are going to start blossoming like, so yeah. you guys are going to change, you know. Like, wow, you know, yeah. So people, we're going to become more focused, I think, with what we're doing. Yeah. So, um, so, what, what, in what kind of way do you mean? So, for example, you mean like uh, um, changing it in it or no? Yeah, well, it, that's all in the process of a transition, you know, mm -hmm. change, uh, new timing rhythms, you know. Yeah, of course. But I think now is a good time for you guys to actually, I think, work more together and, and produce more quality, and because you, what you produce is, is what the time is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. You know, don't understand. You're the timing now. Don't miss yeah, your yeah, timing. Yeah. You know. so, so you utilize it also more in, in, in showbiz, you mean? Well. No, no, and, and whatever you do, you know. It's, it's not about trying to classify it. No, oh, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, no, whatever you're doing in your craft, I call it, you know. Mm -hmm. Your art, your craft. You know, just uh, be more, I think, more like more conscious, more, more cultivated with it, you know. Yes. You, you have more cultivation. Yeah, yeah. And it's simple. I think it, things will work out for you guys. Nice, man. Shoot. <laughs> so you guys' time. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so if you, if you, whenever you uh, go to uh, judge a battle, yeah. yeah. What, what, what do you think is the most important thing oh, in a battle? It's a, it's a, it's so many important things. You know, really. You know, and just to name a few. You know, speed, timing. Uh, how do you say? Excitement, you know, uh, uh, shoot, uh, many things, man. Feeling, uh, emotion, you know. It, it really, you know, dance is, is very like deep to me. It's like mm -hmm. if you step up there, it's not you just step up there, start throwing moves. You know, you're taking your body up to your human being. You mm -hmm. know, so 
I look at it that way, and uh, it's it's just that the the of course rhythm, and, uh, and, uh, timing, performance, uh, creativity, having fun, and I'll use the basics for you right now. And uh, you do them things. I think as a uh, dancer or performer, you you really you know get something going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you still practice a lot, or how many times a week do you dance? Uh, I've been a little lazy lately, but I try to go to the gym once a week. You know? Once a week? Yeah, I really. And, uh, and if I don't do that, I am definitely doing sit-ups and push-ups or something. Uh -huh. You know, because I, uh, it's about, you know, keeping your health up, you know. And, and, and you know, it's about image and everything. You know, you just, a lot of people, oh, it don't matter how you look. Yes, it do, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. So, yeah, so I, you know, you guys are more shock, more, you know. It, it's it's real. It's like street. Is some people have a backwards, I think, uh, kind of connotation of a dance. It's like dance is shock, man. Dance ain't walking around like that every day, you know. No, I'm sorry, y'all. Dance be clean sometimes, you know. It's like wow. Sometimes we be clean, and then sometimes we be ourselves. You know, we have all kinds of styles of dance, and so that's why it's a dance. Yeah. yeah. So somebody trying to classify somebody and just say, "Whoa, <laughs> dance is free. You make your own style. Do what you want to do." It's exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, so for example, for for the for the people who are still uh, growing, a lot, yeah, do you have uh, any advice for them? Uh, I I just like to say, please, really don't don't get like uh, uh, too relaxed when you're moving out there because remember the music always has different rhythms and and and, and tones and everything coming at you. So you want to really try to be focused with the music more as you move, and I think that'll improve your your gesture, your movement. Yeah, just listen to that music better. Try to find more elements inside that sound. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and uh, keep reaching that way. And I think as for a dancer, that's, that's, you have your growth. You know? yeah. From that inner being, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. This, this is one of my questions. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Hey, yo. <laughs> peace, yo. Hey, 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 thank you very nah, much. Cool, man. Trying to help my brother out. Right, thank you very much. No, you're welcome. <laughs>